Okay, this is uh, Ask Dr. Tom with Dr. Thomas Inkladon. And uh, one of the things that come to mind, I don't know if, if you've ever watched the show um, Sons of Anarchy, but uh, it's, uh, you know, Sopranos on motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And there is a one character on there, which, of course, is a fictional character, but uh, he had a, a problem and they called him half sack because I believe that at one point he had to get one of his testicles removed. Uh, so it was woven into that storyline. And then I started thinking about some others, and I forgot about Lance Armstrong, but I thought immediately of Tom Green. And I believe at the time when Tom Green went on his television show with the testicular cancer, I think that he was in his 20s, maybe at his 30s tops. And that was one of the aha moments that, that I remember witnessing and them even discussing, which was actually younger guys have to be a little bit more mindful of this than we than we realized before and that's where the magic age of 15 to 35 sort of comes in but on my list here that i'm looking at that uh, lucy and you put together we got lance armstrong we got tom green and then we got josh bidwell who's an nfl player all been diagnosed and beat testicular cancer um and now they're spreading the word how is how important are those types of people and maybe even the storylines and TV shows that creating awareness in your viewpoint? Well, I think it's, um, I think it's very important because it helps, uh, helps us want to accept that, you know, we're, we're all human and sometimes things happen to us that are outside of our control. Um, but we have the ability to defeat it, you know? And so I, I think it, 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 it makes it so that, I, I, um, people could see there's like a positive uh, or, uh, you know, outcome in the end. So what I, what I tend to see, like if I was going to um, make some general statements, when women come in with cancer, when they go through their journey, during and after their journey, they have sort of like a, a mindset of, I don't want another woman to go through this experience the way that I have and so they're very sharing they're very open and uh, we joke sometimes you know when um, I have uh, you know a bunch of professionals uh, that are involved with helping us you know collect the video testimonials we have Richard and his team um, and most of the time it's women sharing you know their message like hey here's how the, P the team of Cosent has helped us so now when that makes its way out to like YouTube and on a website, it kind of gives a visual bias like we only treat women, you know. Mm -hmm. When we treat any type of cancer um, in, in adults, and uh, but men a lot of times will, will don't really want anyone to know that they have cancer. And so it's kind of like they're not as open to sharing that information. But then it becomes more difficult for other men to understand, well, you know, how does this look like going forward, you know, with my, with this journey that I'm going through right now? So it's important when celebrities share things because it helps one to set the stage that it's possible to beat this. So now more people, uh, at least case men, can see I can, I can beat it too. If they did it, I can do it. And then also, though, it helps increase awareness that we need to be doing more self exams. Um, you know, and we need to be able to take action. Uh, one of the things that I hope gets uh, communicated very clearly is uh, that men need to take action faster. Uh, just in the last two weeks, forget about, you know, the 30 years that we've been doing this kind of stuff, in the last two weeks, I've met uh, 10 guys that have different types of cancer. Every single guy goes, well, I don't have pain now, and I'm not really tired, so let me think about it. And I, and I want to shake them and say, dude, it's yeah. easy to fix it now while you're not suffering. Why do you want to wait to suffer before you do something? And what I think is, um, I think it's just that they're kind of disconnected from reality. Because if it was their car, if they had, like, you know, some going on with their car, they would have it fixed immediately. <laughs> But with their own health, they push things off. And so what, I, what I, I like about when celebrities sometimes get involved and say, you know, hey, I'm dealing with this problem and I've resolved it and I'm better now kind of thing, it, it increases awareness that we all need to maybe 
do a better job of taking action more quickly.